you guys, this is Austin, and this is the ultimate Thunderbolt setup. This entire project started a few months ago when I had a conversation with Intel's Thunderbolt team about what really to me felt like a very obvious use case for Thunderbolt, a single cable powering an entire crazy over the top gaming setup. Luckily they agreed, and alongside Dell, Intel was able to sponsor this entire setup and make it happen. The setup is built around the Dell XPS 13. Now, this is a terrific ultrabook, not only is it powered by the latest 8th generation Core i7 processor, but you have great battery life, a good screen, all the normal kind of laptop stuff, but what it lacks is some dedicated graphics for gaming, which is where Thunderbolt comes in. The XPS is connected to the Aorus GTX 1080 gaming box. This little enclosure here houses not only a full GTX 1080 graphics card, but it also has a power supply to power not only the graphics card and the laptop, but it also has USB ports for the rest of our accessories. What's great about this is that with a single Thunderbolt 3 cable, your thin and light Dell that you carry around all day long turns into a full proper gaming setup. There are a wide variety of Thunderbolt 3 enclosures available, most of which have graphics cards built in and those started around $350 or so, but there are also other options without the GPU that you can add yourself. So these started around $200, and one of the ones I recently took a look at was the Razer Core X. This supports a full-size graphics card with plenty of power for pretty much anything you want to put in there. The reason we chose to go with the gaming box is for a few reasons. First of all, a GTX 1080 is a lot of power paired with an Ultrabook like this, but it also has some additional features. So first of all, we have a series of USB ports on the back, which is helpful because we wanted to make sure that all of our accessories could be wired in with just that single Thunderbolt cable. And on top of that, this does support a full 100 watts of power delivery, which means that we don't have to charge our laptop either. It really is one single Thunderbolt 3 cable to make this entire setup work. To take advantage of all this gaming hardware, we have three full monitors. And by monitors, I mean TVs. These are TVs. They're 55 inch 4K HDR panels. So this in hindsight may have been a little bit of overkill, but I mean, come on, we're building the ultimate Thunderbolt setup. Overkill is kind of what you're here for, right? Paired with this are my favorite gaming peripherals right now. First of all, we have the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard. I did an entire video about this. You should definitely go check it out. This is straight up my favorite keyboard that I've ever tried. Alongside this, we have the Zowie, what is it, the, the BenQ Zowie? FK1, I knew it, it's the FK1. This is actually the mouse I've been using for like two years now. Not only do I use it for editing and general use, but it is really great for gaming as well. I probably should have known the, the name of the mouse, shouldn't I have? All this is backed up by my favorite gamepad right now, the Xbox One wireless controller. Now this has seen a few revisions over the years, most notably it now has Bluetooth, and you can also do a cool design lab version, which maybe doesn't match with the setup, but I don't care, because it's my custom Austin, not Duncan one. But the cool thing is this is going to be a nice benefit for when you want to play racing games or stuff that doesn't work well with the mouse and keyboard. Don't do that, don't. What's really cool about this is when you sit in front of it and you realize just how immersive it is. I mean, look at this. We've got three displays all running in surround, and it's so seamless. I mean, yeah, the TVs have a little bit of a border, but I mean, come on. This is so cool. It's almost like sitting with like a VR headset on as opposed to three giant TVs. Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> Are you serious? What? This is the point of the video where I just like, freaking out the whole time. So we're playing on full epic settings too. So right now the resolution is set to 5760 by 1080, but it's full epic, basically everything. And frame rate wise, we're doing pretty solid. I mean, we're pretty much around 50 to 60 FPS. See, I do a lot of videos with Fortnite, right? And a lot of the time I'm playing on like $200 PCs that are like seven frames per second on ultra low settings. But this totally feels like cheating. I mean, sure, when I'm looking ahead, it looks like a fairly standard field of view, but when I look left and right, I can have such a competitive advantage. The only slight downside is that some of the information is all the way over to the left or all the way over to the right, such as the mini map. I mean, sure, you could go build an incredibly expensive gaming PC and get this sort of permanent setup going, but the greatest part is, as soon as I'm done with this game, I unplug a single cable and I've got my normal Ultrabook that's completely portable that I can take with me to school or work or whatever. Whoa. Oh, dude, this is like trippy. <laughs> it's like almost enough to get you motion sick. It's so immersive. All right, let's do this. I'm coming. There we go. I can be helpful. You have a very cool cape. Dude, this is so immersive. I mean, it's crazy just how into the game I feel. This feels incredibly dangerous. I shouldn't be hiding underneath this tree right now. I'm just gonna run. Running is always a good option, right? Oh, yeah. Ha ha. I like this. <laughs> no, 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 no
That's not how this works. That's not how. All right. Well, it's fine. We we came in number two. I cannot go back to playing games on a mere single display or a phone or a switch or a two hundred dollar laptop. Ken, don't make me go back. Can I, can I just do this now? I actually might get good at Fortnite if I play on this setup. Next up, we have Forza Horizon 4. Not only is this one of my favorite games out there, but the PC version is actually really good this year, which is especially helpful when you have three giant TVs in front of you. Now, if you want to be lame, you can drive outside the car, and I mean, I guess that's fine, but nah. This is the way to do it. You know, something I'm noticing is that the mirrors in the game, I've never really paid that much attention to playing on like Xbox, but it makes a big difference here on PC. Not only are the reflections nice and high quality, but I can really see, especially with this right hand mirror, when people are behind me. It's a small thing, but it really kind of goes to show just how useful a setup like this can be. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That was too aggressive. That was too aggressive. That's okay. I made it. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Little bump never hurt anybody, right? I do have the same problem as I did with Fortnite, and that some of my information, like the HUD, is way too far away. But I mean, come on, it's fine. It's like a, a real race. I don't need my uh, my mini map. I could just kind of drive by the seat of my pants and the voice of the GPS. Of course, Thunderbolt is useful for more than just purely playing games. So not only are we adding a ton of extra graphics horsepower to our system, but we do have all the extra USB ports and power and stuff, and we also have the ability to hook up multiple 4K monitors. So that's something that's going to make a big difference in things like video editing and racing games, but mostly you know video editing and creative professional activities like drifting. And that is the ultimate Thunderbolt setup. A lot of work went into not only our brand new set, but getting this all together. So huge shout out to everyone here. And of course, massive thank you to Intel and Dell for sponsoring this video. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to go do some real work on my tiny XPS 13.